Hey guys, it's me, Lauren Rosalio, and I'm here with another Sunday video blog. Today I'm going to be talking about putting your recovery first. It's really important to remember that when you're in recovery, that is your number one priority. So just because you haven't been put in inpatient in that kind of situation, that doesn't mean that you don't need to put your recovery first. When you're in a treatment center, your entire day and every single day, every hour revolves around your recovery. And that's why it's so successful, but not everybody is, you know, in a situation where they need that, or maybe not everyone can afford that, or maybe you have gone through inpatient and now you're kind of in the stage of recovery where you don't need that anymore. And so you're in an outpatient situation. So at some point we do find ourselves living our day-to-day -day lives and we're out there in society but we're also in recovery and that can be really difficult. And one thing that I've noticed even with myself is we tend to then allow our recovery to be put on the back burner, but this is a really dangerous thing to do and it's not necessarily the right thing to do. So there's different situations um, that are involved when you need to make things a priority. And so one of them would be with relationships that you're in. So I do get emails from people where they're talking about friendships that they think might not be the healthiest, different types of relationships, whether it's someone you're dating or a childhood friend or a cousin, or it's really tough when it's family members, you know, and that person is posing a threat to your recovery. And very often, you know, we tend to kind of feel guilty and we don't really know what to do because you're like, well, you know, this is my friend and yeah, she's a threat to my recovery, but she's my friend. In these situations, this is when I talk about putting your recovery for first, you need to put your recovery first. If you have a friend who is threatening your recovery, you need to do something about it because your health needs to come first, even before that relationship and that friendship. In recovery, we're allowed to be selfish. Because again, like I said, we're fighting for our lives here. Our lives are at stake and our, our health is at stake, both physically and mentally and emotionally. And so you need to either maybe start with a conversation, explain to that person that, you know, they're posing a threat to your recovery. And if that continues, you're going to have to step back from the relationship for, for you know, an indefinite amount of time until you've recovered and you feel like it's healthy for you to come back, start by explaining that to them. And if they aren't able to understand that or to respect that, then you do need to step away for a time. I've definitely had times in my life where I did need to step away from people for the sake of my recovery. And you, that's not something you need to feel guilty about. It really isn't. Another time that you need to put your recovery first is in situations, you know, social situations. So, when you're in recovery from an eating disorder, food can be a pretty major issue. And just like when you're living with your eating disorder and you try to avoid social situations where there's going to be food because you don't want to eat, um, whatever the situation is, you're willing to kind of put your eating disorder first in that situation. So in recovery, you also need to be able to be willing to put your recovery first in those situations. And so if you feel like a social situation is going to be incredibly triggering for you, if you feel it's going to be harmful for your recovery, those are situations where you, where you need to know that it's okay to say no. It's okay to not go. If you feel close enough to the person or some of the people that are going to be there, explain to them why. If they know that you're in recovery, just explain, you know what, I'm having a rough day. And I feel like that could be a really triggering thing for me to do. It might be something as simple as going shopping for clothes with your friends. You might not want to stay at home on a Saturday, but maybe you know that if you go shopping with your friends and you hear them bash, you know, bashing their own bodies and, you know, food talk and negative body talk and all the rest, that could be a really triggering situation. And so you need to put your recovery first and you need to say no. And yeah, it might kind of suck, in the short term to have to sit at home on a Saturday, but in the long term, it's worth it. Um, another time when you can put your recovery first would be for the sake of, you know, someone's feelings versus your recovery. So Jenny Schaefer has talked about this a lot in her book, um, Life Without Ed, where, you know, let's say you go to your grandparents' house and your grandma has made this special cake just for you. 
but you know that you're not actually physically hungry and you know that eating that cake in that moment could potentially trigger a binge for those of you who are like me who have struggled with overeating as well as under eating very often eating when you're not hungry can lead to a binging cycle or a compulsive eating cycle so again this is where you have to put your recovery before someone else's feelings and you have to say do you know what grandma i really appreciate that you've made this cake for me i would love to take some home and maybe have it when i'm hungry but I'm just not hungry right now. But don't think that that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate it. Just explain it to her. Even if she doesn't know that you're in recovery, you can still explain it. And her feelings might be hurt for a short time, but that's nothing compared to the potential damage that you eating that cake could do to you. And I think that if your grandma loves you and if she knows the situation, if she had to weigh out her feelings over your health, she would choose your health as well. So those are just a few situations um, that I kind of came up with off the top of my head when it comes to putting your recovery first, but I hope that you'll remember this and you'll apply this in all areas, whether it's work, taking time off work, schoolwork, you know, asking for extensions on different projects you have at school. Like I said, social city situations, um, situations that involve other people's feeling, certain friendships and relationships. When you're in recovery, that is your number one priority. It's your health, it's your life, and it needs to be prioritized over everything else. And you don't need to feel guilty about that. You don't need to feel bad. So try to focus on the long term. Try to know that it's okay to be selfish, especially in, in this time in your life. And again, it's just, it's a period. It's a period of time when you deserve to be selfish. So I hope that you found this helpful, and I will talk to you guys really soon. Ciao.